Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you through a kind of really nice beachy wave summery hair tutorial which seems really bizarre because it is so miserable today. It has been chucking it down all day. I'm having to use my ring light because there's literally no light whatsoever. It is grey outside. So apologies if I look a bit luminescent. So this is just going to be a really, really nice, quick and easy tutorial about how to do loose beachy waves in your hair. I love curling my hair. I don't really like my hair straight. The only reason I do straighten my hair is just because it's so quick. But normally I do a loose curl, but obviously that's quite time consuming to do, especially when you've got really thick hair or really, really long hair. I'm going to talk you through really quickly my kind of hair care routine because I switched it up. So before I was using special shampoo for blonde hair, which was meant to kind of tone and look after your hair. And I just found that it was really sticking to my hair. It wasn't really conditioning it. My hair was just feeling really, really dry. So I decided to switch it up. And I specifically wanted to go with a hair care brand that was natural products, that was cruelty free. I've spoken about this before. I do try my very best to make sure that I use products that are cruelty free. And I don't feel like it's always that well advertised, but I did look around and I specifically wanted to use a brand that had a really good company ethos basically. So I decided to go with this brand. It's called Naughty, Naughty Hair Care. So the stuff that I've been using, I've been using the Blonde Locks Shampoo and Conditioner. Also, for those of you guys who know me well, I am a sucker for packaging. And if I was a shampoo bottle, this is what I would look like. I think the packaging is so, so cute and it's vegan friendly, there's no parabens, no petro petrochemicals, no sulfates, no silicones. So it's specifically designed for coloured hair. It smells amazing as well. It's lemon and chamomile. Ugh, it's dripping all over me because I've had it in the shower. So I've been using those and I've also been using their to the rescue serum. So I've been putting that on um, after I kind of towel dry my hair, putting a bit of that on I don't tend to fully blow dry my hair. I tend to wash my hair in the evening, um, towel dry it, I'll put some of that on and then blow dry it a little bit so it's not wet. And then once it's dry, if I've got a little kind of wispy bit, I'll just rub a little bit in my hands and just smooth it through. And this is great because it's not, you know, sometimes when you put products in your hair and it just kind of clumps and sticks there. This isn't like that. It works in really, really nicely. It's basically just an anti-frizz serum with sweet almond and argan oil. So I would definitely recommend that one. And what I also did the other day is because my hair had got to the point where it was just getting a bit damaged, felt a bit lackluster, I decided to put a mask on it. So I used this one, which was To The Rescue Intense Moisture Treatment for frizzy and damaged hair. So basically with this, it says that you can put it on your hair after washing, and just leave it in for three to five minutes or leave it on for a bit longer, 20 minutes, which is an intense. Oh, hello. You all right, buddy? Yeah, so you can leave it on for 20 minutes for more of an intense treatment. I left it on for a lot longer. I had a bit of a pamper session and I literally just put that on, whacked my hair up, sat and watched a movie for a bit. So I had it on for like 30, 40 minutes and then just washed it out. And it's done my hair so many favours, honestly. It looks a bit crap right now because I've not brushed it. Right, so this is my natural hair. I do get asked sometimes, do I have straight or wavy hair? And I mean, I don't know what you would call that. I would say mind of its own is how I would describe my hair. It's not straight and it's not curly. It's just kind of, it kinks really badly. So I'm just gonna brush it really quickly. You like my hairbrush, don't you? And you like trying to eat it. I'm loving it because I, I feel like I've started to get a little bit of shine back in my hair. Whereas that's why I really wanted to change um, products is because I just didn't feel like my hair was looking healthy. It was just looking a bit dull. And also I find with um, people who have blonde hair, I'm sure you'll get me. Shampoos that have like blue shampoos that are meant to tone they just 
stick to my hair. No matter how well I wash them out, the colour will just stick and I will get blue, purple, pinky streaks in my hair. I really should have done a before and after photo of my hair. I've not even been using the products that long, but I do honestly feel... And also, after I had my surgery, my scalp got really, really dry. And I think it's because I couldn't really, really wash my hair as well as I normally would, sort of really get in there because I was worried about lifting my arms. Um, I got like a bit dandruffy, which I've never had before. And I switched over to these products and it's gone. So I am happy about that. Right, I'm just gonna tie the top bit of my hair up. If you guys have thinner hair, I'd probably just leave it all down and just do it like that. But my hair is stupid thick, so I'm gonna do it in two sections just to make life a little easier for myself. Right, top knot ready. So what I'm gonna use today is this. I got this on Amazon, I'm gonna link it below. Yes, I buy everything on Amazon because you can buy everything on Amazon, that's why I buy everything there. So this was only 15 quid I think it was. I'll link it below anyway in case you guys wanna check it out. But it's just a little crimping iron that looks like that. It looks cute as well, I'm loving that kind of gold and white. And it comes with two different temperature settings, 220 degrees Celsius or 170. I will probably use the higher setting to be honest. Do you know what, since I actually got these style of curlers, I've noticed there's a massive trend for this kind of, well when I say massive trend, it's a Love Island trend. So I don't know if you guys watch Love Island, but is her name Lucy? Lucy from Love Island does this kind of style hair. I saw Caroline Flack had her hair like this the other day. And I mean, this isn't meant to be a Love Island style hair tutorial, but that's just a coincidence. Right, I'm pretty sure those are up to heat now. So literally all you do is just take a section of hair at a time and then just clamp it in, hold it, and then just work your way down. So I'm holding each bit of hair for about 10 seconds, which is difficult to count whilst I'm talking. Rocky, you don't need to go outside, you've just been outside. It's really, I mean, that section of hair took me not long at all, probably about a minute. So this is why it is so quick and easy, even if you have really long hair or really thick hair like me. And because the plates are so thick, it means that you can take a far larger section of hair than you normally would if you were to be curling it. Okay, so that is half of it done. So you can see it just creates a really, really nice kind of crimped style curl. So I'm just gonna take down the top bit of my hair and tie up the bits I've already done off. Rocky, you do not want to lick those. Yeah, so I'm just gonna tie up the bits I already have done so they're not getting in the way and then move on to the top section of my hair. I do find with this that it's easier if you take long, thin, flat sections, if that makes sense. Rather than taking a clump of hair that's really round like that, it doesn't fit into the curlers that well. So I'd recommend taking more of a thin section of hair that's quite wide because it just sits in the curlers a lot better.
okay so we are done obviously the curls are gonna drop a little bit and look more natural i'm looking a little hermione-ish right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some of my serum this is the to the rescue serum i'm just gonna do one pump on my hands also for anyone who can see rocky he doesn't need to go outside i'm not a bad dog mum. he's just attention seeking but yeah i'm gonna take the serum rub it in my hands and literally just sort of scrunch it through my hair just to catch any kind of little flyaways and give it a little extra shine but i love doing my hair like this because you can kind of just flick it around it just looks really kind of natural crimped beachy waves for all of those 90s babies out there do you remember when you used to actually full-on crimp your hair this is basically like that but a little looser and I'm not sure, but you must be able to get a bigger barrel one to do a Lana, Lana Del Rey style kind of Hollywood wave. I'll see if I can find one of those and link it below anyway. So yeah, the curls will obviously drop a little bit and go a little less frizzy, but this is the quickest way I've ever curled my hair. And I have one of those auto curlers and this is even faster than that it's so quick and easy and it just looks like a really effortless kind of beachy wave you can even go for that kind of wet look as well this would look so nice with long hair i feel like because my hair is really really thick and i've got it quite short it does look quite big like i said it will drop but yeah i just love that kind of effortless beach babe blue crush style wave i'm just gonna put a little bit of hairspray on it now but that is all done i wish i would have timed that i'm not sure how long it took not very long to be honest the quickest curl hairstyle i've ever done but as i said before i'm gonna link all of the products below i will link all the naughty hair care stuff as well because i really really recommend it it's a great brand all natural stuff so go check them out as well and yeah I will try and find a variety of different curlers with different sizes because I might get another another curler which is slightly bigger because they're only £15. It's not too expensive for a curler. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please don't forget to do so and I will see you guys next time.